All right, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? It is Simplistic and welcome back to another video. Something I value a lot in my life, especially being a part of the male species is the bro code. To sum it up, it's a strict rule book full of different regulations one must follow to live correctly. It's a very sensitive topic, something that you should never joke about. Even for all my ladies and girls out there, listen up, this could be very beneficial. Let me list some important ones to remember. Number one, no matter the situation, you must always have each other's backs for life. Number two, no dating of any sisters, exes, or even mothers whatsoever. It's completely out of the question. Number three, do not pee in a urinal directly next to one another. That's forbidden. Number four, make sure to hype up your dogs. Make them feel good about themselves. Just don't blaze too hard or else that will be sus. Number five, upon greeting and before leaving, a dap up or handshake is required. Number six, absolutely no gossiping. It is extremely frowned upon and can land you out of the group chat and even out of the group. Number seven, you might need a pen and paper. If a brawl, scuffle, altercation, squabble, beat down, rumble, throw down, scrap, fade, bang out, tussle, or any hands get thrown in a fight, both parties must show love no matter who won or lost. Number eight, most importantly, I'm gonna have to stand up. Have respect for each other's cars, haircut appointments, gym sessions, video games. That means not changing the settings on a console that doesn't belong to you. And lastly, never mess with a man's sneakers. Ooh, it's time to turn up the temperature. It's about to get hot. I would consider myself a firm believer, a true advocate and follower of this guy to becoming a stud. But today, I will go against everything that I stand for, for your entertainment. My best friend and fellow YouTuber, FaZe Rug, over the years has built up a high profile, very expensive and insanely impressive shoe closet. From buying to receiving pairs in the mail for free, take an inside look. This has been highly requested. Everyone's always asking me, so I can't imagine how much you get asked, but let's talk shoes. Let's talk okay. sneakers. Okay. Tell me, how many times a day do people ask for an updated sneaker collection tour? I would say at least like 10. That's like pocket watching though, don't you think? I think so, yeah. Sneaker watching. Sneaker watching. Like relax, let me like pull it out when I'm ready. Yeah. But we're gonna be going through Rug's closet and stealing everything. I love this idea, bro. Yeah, so this is a banger. What can I take? But anyway, let's actually go through and <laughs> see what heat you've been picking up. Okay. And uh, you can show it off. I don't like to consider myself a sneakerhead. Yeah. I love sneakers, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm not as educated as, you know, real sneaker heads are. For sure. I love the looks of the shoes. Like, I'll the buy them. Yeah, I'll, the design, I'll, I'll buy them if I think they're nice. But I'm not, I don't consider myself a sneaker head. Yeah, let's go through some stuff. I'll be honest, I haven't bought new stuff in a long time. I feel like I used to be a big major sneaker head back in like 2017 to 2020. That's what like most of my collection's from. Okay. The other day, we were out in public and some guy Dude. comes up to him and says, no offense, but but you're way shorter in person. Dude, and it was like a <laughs> casual combo. He came up and he's like, bro, I'm a fan. My girlfriend watches your videos. And I'm like, dude, thank you so much. And he's like, you're a lot shorter in person. I'm like, wow, like, gee, dang. thank you so much. I really needed to hear that, bro. Came I love after you. him, bro. <laughs> my boy Jesser wow. got these for me on my birthday. Okay. So these are some off-white. I actually don't own just off-white shoes. I always have like off-white Nikes. Yeah. So it's actually really cool. Like I love like how thick the soles are, you know, to make me taller. Yeah, yeah. You they, know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> My boy Noah actually surprised me with these the Yoshis. Bro. Yeah, so he's a big uh, Super Mario fan. So yep. it just kind of made sense. And I'm waiting for a day you can actually rock these, but it's kind of hard with the fit. I'd you know say just like a white shirt, black pants. I'll rock them soon, but yeah, those are nice custom Yoshis. These ones are heat, my boy. Wow. I don't wear these often. I've wore them a few times, but bro, the color is just beautiful. Off-white Air Forces. So these Dude. are heat, bro. The crazy thing is that's my girlfriend's like dream pair. Bro, with a nice beige shirt, jeans, and these, bro, they hit. The ones on the floor right here, they're actually pretty beat up because I wear these all the time, bro. Wow. The Travis Scott Phantom. These go hard, bro. I oh, love yeah. these. We could definitely clean these up and make it look like brand new. I think just with a good wash. But Can dude, you clean these... them for me? Yeah, Or of find someone to clean them for me? No, I got you. Okay. I low-key would love, like, I think I've seen this on TikTok. Like, there's people that actually clean shoes. Dude, there's a guy that goes, uh, he has a saying. I you just saved yourself 150 bucks. bucks. I think I've seen him. It's he that cleans dude. shoes, <laughs> yeah. right? Yes, bro. He, like, goes and, like, scrubs them uh -huh. and stuff. These ones were gifted to me by none other than Sherman. 
the vermin the vermin this was a great christmas gift it has number 54 on the back i love the color because i have these like pants that i wear all the time and i do get flamed for wearing them all the time but they have orange strings that come out and they're so faded from how much i've worn them i actually want to pull them out real dude quick. Oh. hold on watch out look at that dude to me though that just shows how much you actually love them like, no, I you love wear them, them out so much and it's like a staple piece for you. Yeah. So, I mean, it just works. For me, bro, to be honest, like I could go out and just buy like new clothes all the time, but I just like wearing my that I have, yeah. you know, like there's no need for that. As you can see, I have a lot of Gucci shoes. Like I said, 2016 to 2019 era. Bro, you actually popularized this brand. Gucci obviously is like massive. Of course. But in the creator world, like I fell in love with it and I got to give a huge shout out to my boy Rice. Yeah. He put me on to like designer and uh -huh. hype beast. I, I just tapped into Gucci. I wrapped my Lambo in Gucci. Dude. I would talk about Gucci nonstop. It was funny because back then a lot of parents would yeah. get mad at me because they're like, my kid is asking me to buy him Gucci shoes all the time because of you. I'm like, bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I don't really buy Gucci anymore. So you already know I'm a shooter. I can hoop. So whenever I'm trying to do that, we got my Kobe Grinches. These ones are like very valuable to me. For sure. Just because Kobe was my favorite player. Definitely have dropped 30 on people's head tops <laughs> wearing them. So it definitely is an honor to do that in these shoes. If you're aware of his form when he shoots, bro, it's something I've never seen. Before. My, my shooting form? It's like, it's, it's like so weird. Imagine going bowling in the air. It's like, you know, when you spin the ball <laughs> and it goes on one side Actually, of the lane and it comes back. It's like, that's your bro, shot. It's weird because like people have taken photos of me shooting. I'll look at the photo and my hand is like this. Like, yeah. Like, I'll release the ball and my hand goes like this and I never post those pictures because I'm like, that is mad embarrassing. Dude, it's the way the way people shoot, you know, you're supposed to follow through like that. Yeah. Bro, I shoot like this. <laughs> but it goes like, in. You curve it. It goes in. That's all that matters. These are the, the Turtle Dove Yeezys. Actually, hold on. My first pair of Yeezys. I made it a huge deal on my channel. All the OG <laughs> fans know that these were a dream of mine to get back in the day. I literally made a vlog waiting for like the FedEx guy to come to oh, my house. It was like that. And I finally threw them on. These are the legit ones. I haven't lost them. They're not ripped. Wait. Honestly, it adds to it. It does. It does. <laughs> nice little collection piece here, but uh, the turtle doves are a, a rare color that I like. Wait, hold on, bro. These are like, I've never really seen these in person. No, they're sick. I had to just add them to my Yeezys collection. Good information to know. Yes. If you're a homie of mine or just in general, like if you want to borrow something from yeah. me, bro, of course. <laughs> like I, I want you to have a great night. I want you to look good, feel good. Of course. And I would but... never gatekeep, okay? These ones I got from a fan actually in a fan mail video i haven't whipped them out Dude, yet but that is crazy hey, i keep i keep the stuff from the fan mail videos guys that kind of reminds me of my tattoo you see like barbed wire kind of yeah like, oh shoot see it's kind of like the same yeah since we are putting this on a tier list if i had to rate it man s tier of course nothing Let's more go. nothing less you deserve it dude honestly like i like how i still have a ton of my older shoes like i feel like those will live on forever maybe i might tap into like the newer shoes yeah but uh but yeah i mean i'm, I'm very content with it hey as time goes on you'll just keep upgrading but uh we appreciate the time hey yes sir well i can't tell if this was plain jealousy or straight up menace activity but you see this was all a part of my master plan i purposely got an inside scoop just to be able to continue my mission of destroying his entire collection throughout the tour it felt like this moron was flexing on me but he did reveal his prized possession this was exactly the info i was looking for with this knowledge i now needed to replicate and duplicate the product it's kind of like an infinite money glitch in Grand Theft Auto. Keep in mind, you must be 18 years old to play that. I hopped on at 13, and that just goes to show what I'm capable of. I proceeded to order the exact models of everything I saw, then waited about two to three weeks for them to come overseas from China. But I can't forget to mention, this wouldn't be possible without our beautiful sponsor, Air Up. It's an entirely new futuristic way to consume H2O. They like to refer it as scent flavoring. Let me explain. Take off the top, no cap. Everything is powered by this flavor pod right there. My personal favorite, lemon. We already have it filled up and as we take a sip, completely normal. But to activate that amazing taste, all you have to do is lift this bad boy up to the top. Boom. And now just from that, it's going to hit different. It never gets old every time. That is insane. It's almost as if I cut up some fruits and added it inside. Personally, my biggest flaw is being able to stay hydrated and this always comes in handy. Literally, you could ask anyone I know and they'll always say, oh, Noah always likes to drink soda or juice, but that's not what's going to keep me alive. With this phenomenal bottle, I'm able to satisfy my taste buds while keeping my body right. 
This baby right here will serve as my secret weapon to execute the master plan. And if you're curious and want to try it out for yourself, go click the link in the description. I can 100% guarantee you're going to be satisfied. Finally, I am here with all the product. If you know me, I am super impatient. So the fact that I have this here, I am hyped. I'm just truly surprised I didn't get scammed. Let's go ahead and start unboxing these one by one. Who knows, after this, your boy might be rocking some of these. Bro's really about to pull up with the team moves on feet, goofy off footwear. Ooh, I'm excited. Starting off with some designer, we have Dior. So far, the quality is on point. It feels like snake skin. Ooh. Damn, the attention to detail. I am actually shocked. It came with two travel size bags in case you need to go anywhere. Very elegant. No actual way, a counterfeit receipt for $10,000. I mean, <laughs> it's just something like, you know what I'm saying? I might have to pull up to the actual store and say the tab's on me. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Oh my God. Both individually packaged, very on point, spot on. If you look very closely, even the stitching is perfect. We're in good shape so far. I actually had a pair of these when I was in high school and I was never able to get them again, but RIP to the GOAT Kobe Bryant number eight and 24 forever. Ooh, the Grinches. These are sleek. If I were to actually hoop in these, the rubber on the bottom looks like it has a lot of traction. If you put this side by side with the real thing, it would be very hard to tell. The signature on the back, even down to the lettering that says Zoom. Perfecto. It's now time to take flight with some Air Jordans, but not any kind. They were specially designed by Virgil Abloh, the man who created Off-White. Make me like Mike. Oh, damn. This is getting ridiculous. The cage matches up. The suede feels authentic. The color patterns are on point. It even has the iconic tags and came with some extra shoelaces. I haven't tried this tag test just yet, but... Okay, that's probably the only thing that's off is the smell. Other than that, I'll take it. At the end of the day, just do it. Woo! Straight up, it's lit! Phantom Cactus Jack Nike. This right here is definitely the best one I've seen yet. The logo on the tongue is great. Even on the inside with the inserts. Astonishing. Wait, what is this? A bandana? Really about to turn into a housewife. Listen, if my man don't have my rent paid, my nails done, and he's not shopping for me, I don't want it. Looks like the production was very lazy. They took the top off, no cap. Blue off-white Air Force Ones. Silver swoosh, white laces. Very dope. I miss the old Kanye. Straight from the gold Kanye. Chop up the soul Kanye. Set on his goals Kanye. Even though this dude has been canceled left and right, we have some Adidas 350 Yeezy boots, specifically the turtle doves. The the whole aesthetic looks very on par with the cardboard. Just like I would do for my homies, we're about to slide. I just remember how hyped these were in 2016, 2017. These in a Supreme shirt would go crazy. They got that little hint of styrofoam, says boost in the right area, impressive. Just like what the six god Aubrey Graham, AKA Drake said, the members done hung up the Louis, they not even wearing that. They are especially known for making everything fancy, so these have to be immaculate. Bada bing, bada boom. Wow. Let's get that satisfying pull. Ooh, so smooth. It got the blue tab. Jeez. It has the thank you note. Another receipt. I guess this time I spent 7,500. <laughs> Pretty accurate. Extra orange laces. A little notebook pamphlet. And the grand finale for our last shoe in solid 24 karat gold. But really, it's probably copper. Very intricate. This is exactly what you would see with the real item. Golly, these are thick with 20 Cs. Boy, what the hell? I love the addition with the charms, but having to drag these around is a full on workout. I do want to add a very important message to everyone out there that thinks they have to get the real authentic stuff. Truth is, you don't have to. It really doesn't matter. In fact, I've never seen someone out in public try and call someone out unless they're a level 1000 try hard. Now that they are in my possession, we can now execute the operation at hand I like to call Kicks Demolition Derby. Hey man, it has all come down to this 
moment. We just pulled up to Rugg's crib. Every single time I see it, it just reminds me of the White House. Bro's trying to be a government official. But luckily for me, every method of destruction has already been set up by Rugg's team. I'm not gonna name any names. I'm not a snitch, but I had them work a little overtime. They completely understood the assignment. I am gonna crush his soul from the inside out. The way we're gonna properly pull this prank off is by telling him that we're doing 24 magic tricks in 24 hours as a decoy video. But realistically, we brought these and we're just gonna handcuff him. And then we'll completely watch his life crumble apart. <laughs> I'm better than Metro, I swear. Hey, yo, Pierre, stay inside, because I'm here. Hello. What's good? What's good, bro? How are you? Come on, bro, you know me. You're gang. Yeah, but I was going to say, like, I was just in the neighborhood. As always. Had to stop by. And I'm happy that you're here. May I come inside? Of course, come, okay. come, come. <laughs> Yo, bro, we just got this clean. If you could just take off your shoes. Oh, I got you, bro. Speaking of these, actually, I haven't shown this off just yet. Bro. But do you have, like, uh, a hair dryer? Yeah, I think so. Can we get that? Well, you haven't shown this in the vlog? No, not Bro, at all. it's so sick. It's so sick. It's probably one of the craziest things I've ever seen, a huge transformation. These are actually a gift from the man himself. He got me these for my last birthday. W friend. Wow, pulled it out of nowhere, like Randy Orton. Watch out, watch out! First they're black, and now they're- Yo! Yo! Welcome back to another forecast. I'm Noah. I'm Faze Rug. Over here to the left, it's looking a bit cold. And as we move our way east, it's gonna be very Hot and windy. Dude, that's sick though. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, like, right? Can I have them? Okay, yeah. For yeah. your birthday? Actually, I'm gonna um decline half of them, actually. Thank you though. Right, I appreciate, no appreciate no that one. <laughs> that was only half of the magic. So I had some things that I just learned from Chris Angel. I'm doing a hundred hours of watching his documentaries. Okay. And this is something that will completely blow your mind. So like magic. Like you're gonna, exactly. you're gonna exactly. show me some magic. Exactly. And it's gonna be something that's gonna leave you in shock. Like you're gonna be like actually like dude. What is happening? Okay, 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 okay. First step, hands behind your back. Fine. Just trust me. Okay. Listen, listen, you have my word. I won't do any like snake stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. So kind of go like that. We're going to demonstrate how to get out of these without a key. And it's like, it'll work for sure. Do you have the key as backup? No. Do I trust this kid right now? Like, why did you come to my house with a pair of handcuffs? I wanted to get freaky, bro. Okay. You know I mean, what I'm saying? Shoot, why not? Ow! Okay, Wait, that hurts. You can confirm that you can't get out. No, I cannot get out. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Wait, hold on. You're not pushing me in the pool with this. No, like, you're okay, not... okay, relax. Bro, I was trying to commit a murder oh, right now. Hold on. Okay, no, no, no. None of that, bro. Oh, three and a half minutes left. Fine, fine. No, show fine. me what you need to show me. I don't care. No! Yeah. Okay, fine. I'll and I'm going to ruin your entertainment. <laughs> I will be respectful and uh, not let any flies inside you. <laughs> but come on. Wait, can you please get me out of here? No. No, it's a part. What is this a part of? Just follow I'm, me. Bro, please no pranks. Bro says please no pranks, but then go ahead and look at his channel. Bro, I haven't done a prank in so long. Wow, isn't it beautiful out here? Bro, what is that? It's golden out. No, no, what What are those? Are those my shoes? Bro, don't do anything stupid with my shoes. You have a pretty vast collection. Bro, that most envy. You know? Okay. Do you remember a few days back where we did that whole tour? Yes. Dude, please don't do anything with my, my shoes. For real. Yo! Dude, Noah, please, bro. Had to pull some strings with Santa. Ow. Hey, 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 no, bro. no, no, no. <laughs> bro, stop, Why, wait, can you actually like tell me what you're doing? Like you're not using any of this stuff on it, right? All of that stuff is just for show. But realistically, okay. So as you can see, bro. Uh, I picked out some of your personal favorites. And uh, when did you do, like when did you go in my closet and grab them that same night that we did the I movie? didn't, your team did. You're gonna have to have some stern talkings out Oh there. my gosh, bro. So, okay. I guess we're starting off with I these. haven't even wore the turtle doves. Never? They I've, do look squeaky clean. Yeah, I've never wore them. A lot of people love to hydro dip, right? Okay. ZHC, Marco. I just know he's not gonna do anything, so I'm supposed to act paranoid right now. Okay. All the artists. Noah, please don't. Noah, actually don't. Do you want the hot tub or the pool? <laughs> what is this kid saying? He's not touch he's not throwing my shoes in the pool. What are you doing? What are you doing? In case this is the thumbnail, ready? Wait, hold on. Give me Bro, stop. <laughs> I'm literally gonna push you in. Dude, okay, no, relax. <laughs> Kiss him goodbye. Hey! What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Noah? Yo. Bro, what is wrong with you? Bro. Yo, hey, no, no, watch out, bro. I don't want you to fall. Bro, in. what are you doing? It's cold. Bro, Dead bro, eye. you're not using any of this other stuff. Oh, yeah, are you sure about that? No, stop, stop bro. No. Noah, please stop right there. Like, it, like, actually, let's talk real quick. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Why bro? are you doing this? Give me your alibi. Because they're you're destroying like thousands of dollars of shoes. That's all you care about? 
Think about the memory we're creating right now. This is not a good memory. <laughs> Maybe in a few years you'll look back, laugh at it, but listen, Stop. I have a Tesla, I love Elon Musk, and uh, you happen to have a not so boring flamethrower. You're not actually gonna flamethrow the shoes. Don't actually do it. Like a gas station. Yeah. Noah, don't. Noah, don't. Noah, don't. Okay, all right. You're funny. Yep. Ooh, it's uh -huh. like a marshmallow. Dude, you're so dumb. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Stop, Noah. Okay. Wait, actually, what's wrong with you right now? Finishing touches? Come on. Uh, uh, no, is this like, are you being serious? Like, are, are these my real shoes? There's no way, that, like, like you wouldn't do this because- You're, Okay, okay, think about me. You think I wouldn't go through with this. No, you would. <laughs> That's, That's scary I'm part. insane. But I'm actually just being hopeful right now that he's gonna say this is all a prank. But Noah, can you just stop it right there and just let me know? If I can make a three-pointer first try, this all ends. Well, that's not giving me a chance. How? Because that's in your hands. This guy's an idiot, bro. He's so stupid. Damn, bro. That bro, sucks. Stop, bro. For real. Wait, Ooh. let me... Can you not? Wait, have you, like, really worn these out yet? No, I barely wear... I think I've worn those for a picture. Bro, stop. Hey, you're, bro. you're kicking them, bro. Remember that. I understand, but can you please stop? No, stop, bro. What is wrong with you? What? Something okay? Are you okay? So now... Dude, stop. I learned this in culinary school. Yeah, and Gordon Ramsay also said get a f***ing haircut, and your hair is still looking like shit. Okay, okay, he's yeah. roasting me. Yeah, now. okay, yeah. valid. There you go. Hey, my little, hoodie! Little cherry on top. Stop, you're not using a paintball gun, you bro. You see this bad boy? Hey, yo, hey, Derek, I'm talking to you behind the camera. Yes, no, don't hey, play don't that. Hey, don't answer to him. Don't play that. No water, no food for the rest of the day if you <laughs> yeah. answer to him. You want this to happen? Yo, are these my real shoes? No! Yeah. No, they're not, bro. You can. You would never do that. Safety first. Ow, my ear, oh, sorry, bro. My bad, my bad. My, oh, oh it's, it's getting crushed. Ow, my right ear, my right ear, bro. Oh, right. My bad, my bad. Oh, 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 it's getting crushed. Yo, what's wrong with you? Something's wrong with you. Say hello to my little friend. Okay. All right. Ow, ow, okay, ow, my ow, bad, ow, my, my ear, bro. Dude, the ears are red. I'm Yo, so, I'm bro, so sorry. he's actually hurting me. I'm so sorry. Yo, wait, can you take these off too? End it here, bro. I, just don't do anything else. Wait, I might not have to do this one because you are lactose intolerant. Bro, Noah, Noah, stop. Not the Phantoms, bro. Stop. Those cannot be my real shoes. What's wrong? Like, with a milk mustache. Damn, I'm MVP. Yeah. Bro, stop. 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 Yeah. stop. I'm, I'm not, like, this isn't cool anymore. Like, I, I maybe set things up right and have those open already. I didn't set it up. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm having a talk yeah. with my team. Where are they? Are they inside? Or are they gone for the Oh, they day? clocked out early today. They definitely clocked out early. <laughs> not those ones, bro, please. Hey, no, not... No, not Sharpies, bro. Come on. Damn what are you it. looking at the house for? Because, like, I'm thinking everything in your closet right now is just outside. And it's like, I'm... I don't know. Stop. Stop. Bro. There you go, bro. Okay, that's actually hard. I'm not gonna lie. There, there's no way that he's actually doing this. Like, and they're they're my real shoes. You know, Ryan's toy review be hitting this up all the time. That's slime. Hey, speaking of him, though, I want to call him out soon to some influencer boxing. I feel like me and him would go crazy in the ring. I low key think he'd beat you, bro. He would. He's bigger than you. Bigger than you. B bigger than you. <sighs> okay, fine. Right. Successful. Get this one, too. You're free. All right, you're not gonna touch any of my shoes? I'm gonna go check right now. Hey, we're color coordinating at least. <laughs> Another thing that he doesn't know is that all the stuff that I actually took from him, is it in the right place? I put it in a separate closet. This will go down as one of the most iconic things I'll ever do. Wow, that's actually like a cool art project. <sighs> Let's end it off with a bang. Don't tell me those are my real shoes, bro. No, I'm serious. Wait, can you at least do the outro with me? No, bro. Those aren't. Th where are they? Where are they? Where'd you? Okay, I'll them? show you. I'm not gonna lie. It's a good prank. Like that's funny. <laughs> you're destroying. See the energy switch. Well, yeah. You, if you're saying you have my real shoes and you destroyed fake shoes, then not a lie. Those are good fakes. They're not fake. What are you saying, bro? Why are they in front of your car, bro? Stop. Y yes, they are fake. They have to be fake. Where are my real shoes, bro? Is he gonna pull out the shoes? I'm not buying it. I, I, I promise you. Where? Are Wait, what, what are you doing? Where are the real shoes? Close the door. Bro, where are I'm going to pull off right now if you don't close it. Bro. All right, guys. I love y'all so <laughs> You're much. You're not doing the outro. Thank you so much for You're watching. Not doing if the you enjoy, please drop a like, subscribe down below. Don't. To get me to 2 million subscribers. Don't. And uh, yeah, you better. Bro, no. Stop, bro. What's wrong? <sighs> Time to go home. I'll wait a few days till I actually reveal it's a joke. But for now, I'm chilling.
Don't y'all wish y'all had a friend like me?